Okay guys, I'm back in Garena Speed Drifters. In this video, I'm actually going to explain a bit about the ECU, eh? the Alpha ECU. This is the third ECU so far, right? It's Renault, Troy, and now it's Alpha. Yeah, the next one will be Polaris, the one we want. Yeah, but first, I disabled everything just for now just to show there is some effects eh? even without the ECU as you can see the first thing in the ECU is actually if you disable ECU your speed for every single car is uh, slowed down eh? so once you upgrade this one your speed for every car is faster eh? I realize uh, when I <laughs> tested uh, thanks uh, Lawrence for pointing it out okay so just uh, take a look without any ECU at all eh? What's the normal speed for a normal D car? 183 Double boost 220.6 Okay And CW 282.6 Okay So now let's say if we full upgrade uh, The first one You have base max speed plus 0 0.4 And this one is basic power so it's just acceleration but uh, I'll just level that up also and also the middle quantum field okay and then this one uh, max speed of flying and landing boost increase okay we upgrade that also so that increases uh, flying and landing boost uh, speed and then that's where the three branches start eh? from here nothing uh, affects uh, speed anymore eh? So let me test after this much eh, of uh, ECU. And 183.5, you can see there's a little bit increase. Double boost also 221.1, it went up also. And CW 283.2. So yeah, there is a. Uh, oh yeah, press restart. There is a slight increase. Eh? because of the base max speed well but for me i think uh it's fine lah. i think i'll just keep on reviewing with the ecu all right because everyone will have ecu anyway so in my future reviews i'll just keep the ecu on okay all right anyway we're gonna start with the first one which is the break the limits one eh? we'll start with the break the limits ECU branch okay so for this one is uh, energy level jump when you activate within 5 seconds flying boost and landing boost plus 0.12 seconds so like I said uh, last time this alpha ECU this uh, branch if you activate you will have like a twin Aries ability for 5 seconds you activate your flying landing boost will plus 0.12 seconds so if you use star hunter or twin Aries or whatever continuous car it will be even double eh? double the duration and base max speed plus one base max speed in the air plus five okay so yeah it's not only increases duration uh flying landing boost but also a bit of speed also eh? so we're gonna test um this ecu eh? okay I'll put a checkpoint here so you can see a line if I do uh, continuous eh? you can see there so that's the continue line for twin Aries of course twin Aries already has 0 0.12 but what if we use the ECU eh? So the duration is uh, longer, slightly longer, but only when flying and landing, it's not every mini boost. This ECU will not increase your duration if you're not jumping. Eh? If you're jumping only, it increases duration. So using this ECU in let's say City 11 is useless, eh? <laughs> even though I always press it in City 11 or whatever. But it's actually useless, it doesn't do anything because there's no jumping. So I recommend only use this ECU when you are in a jumping map even in even if you get ct11 i suggest maybe you should not use this ecu eh? <laughs> but yeah let's see what the other ecu is now eh? the hadron collision so this ecu runs within 10 seconds your end tank will retain 60 percent after hitting wall so you will lose 
only if you hit a wall you won't lose all your entang you will, you will save 60 percent of the entang a bit like renault i guess and during the skill is in effect every time you hit the wall you immediately get a mini boost and the mini boost max speed plus 6 km for 4 seconds okay so this ecu is only when you know you're about to hit a wall only wall yeah only when you hit a wall so it's a bit like a renault uh, skill like that if you hit a wall or you mistake somewhere you know you're gonna make a mistake or maybe you really have to hit the wall for some reason you use this ecu and you will lose lesser end tank if you hit the wall and also you get a mini boost straight away after you hit the wall a bit like uh burning needles uh, ability eh? if you hit a wall you get a mini boost something like that so let's test this ecu now Well, so far, uh, I hit the wall but I didn't get a mini boost. Eh? <laughs> Did I write that wrong? Let me try again. Is it over 10 seconds? Hmm. Uh, I think I get it. It's not when you hit the wall. Hold on. Huh? Let me just test one more time. Okay, I'm still confused. Hold up. <laughs> did I did that wrong? It says every time you hit the wall, you immediately get a mini boost. It didn't for me. Okay, I'm still not sure. I hit walls but I don't get a mini boost. I'm not sure why. <laughs> but I see the 60% end tank thing. I can see why people don't pick this ECU. Eh? It's not really that useful. Eh? I guess you can use this ECU if you don't get uh, any continuous, any map that you can't jump. So like City Eleven. Eh? I think that's the only useful <laughs> uh, thing for this ECU. Not that useful, I'll say. Alright, let's go to the item branch. After using the skill, you can randomly get one missile or tornado. So to use this ECU, you, if you don't have a missile or tornado, this ECU will give you one. And if you upgrade this one to max, you will get, uh, using this ECU will not only give you missile and tornado, but it can also give you kupi or shield. So it gives you a random item. It can be either a missile, a tornado, a kupi or a shield. But you can only use it one time because it uses it uses two quantum points. So when you get two two of these energy, you, that means you can only use it once in the race. So yeah, this one definitely equipped for item. Okay, first I need to get two energy. So I can take two items. I need one more. Or oh, is it used to items here? Okay, when do, uh, when do I get the ECU? Oh, there. What did I do? I'm not sure. <laughs> but okay. So, I have a shield. Uh, it doesn't really matter what item do I have. But if I use my ECU now. And I get a Koopi. It's a random, eh? It's, it's not always... Uh, not sure how the ECU activates, but okay. So let's say I get rid of the shield. I mean, I ECU now. Kupi is. <laughs> okay, I got 
I got the ECU. Let's see what I get. Let me just take two items. Okay. And maybe use some more. Okay. What do I get? Tornado. See? It's random. Eh? The items are all random. But you can only use it once in the game. Okay, but uh, here's the thing. Eh? If you have two items and you use the ECU when you have two items, your ECU is a waste. Eh? So make sure you have space before you use your ECU. <laughs> Sometimes you have to uh, wonder if, uh, let's say you have one item, you're about to use the ECU, but suddenly your teammates suddenly pass an item to you. <laughs> so maybe I suggest uh, use this ECU when you don't have anything. Okay, when you don't have anything, uh, it's less risky. Maybe someone will help will pass an item to you, and you use the ECU. Okay, so yeah. Don't use this ECU when your item is full. Okay guys, I think that will be it for this uh, Alpha Quantum Core ECU. Eh? The third ECU in the game. I'm now, I'm a bit confused because it says 75 days more. That, does that mean this ECU will last another season? Because uh, in rank, the Alpha season is going to end in like, how many days? 15 days. So maybe there will be another season before the Polaris maybe. There's, there might be another season before that. Before, because I don't think they will release Polaris rank but not the Polaris ECU. If you get what I'm saying. They should release the rank and the ECU at the same time. So I think there will be another season and you still use the Alpha ECU and then after that there will be a Polaris season with Polaris ECU so for my recommended uh, for this ECU is always speed mode use this ECU so you get longer continuation but if you get Mad Max City 11 use this ECU because this ECU will not uh, help at all <laughs> okay and for item, yeah, always use the item ECU okay guys that's it for this uh, Alpha ECU uh, video eh? so thank you guys for watching see you guys next time